Hey guys, so today is a different video. I'm going to be doing a pack with me makeup edition and I am traveling to Scotland for a few days and I decided to film a pack with me. I did one a few years ago just to show you what I usually take when I go on holiday. Now it is a short trip and so I'm not bringing that much. So I'm just bringing my Jeffree Star little makeup case. I absolutely love this. It holds a lot of stuff and believe it or not it actually doesn't take up that much room in your suitcase so i'm going to be packing quite a few things in here just for a few days it may look like a lot but i always like to take um, a little bit extra just to be on the safe side because you never know what you might need out there not only am i going to pack makeup but i'm going to pack a little bit of skincare in here as well so let's just dive straight into it. So the first thing I like to do, little tip for you, is always go by category and go by the order that you do your face. So for example, primer, foundation, and then concealer, powder, all of that stuff. So for my primer, I'm actually going to be taking one of my favourites. This is the Nivea Daily Essentials 24 Hour Moisture Plus Express Primer. I absolutely love this primer and it's really, really, really affordable. So I'm going to pop that in there. Now for foundation, I'm actually going to be taking two. I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Pro Glow um, Infallible Foundation and also my Hourglass Vanish Seamless Stick, whatever it's called. Um, I absolutely love these foundations. This one I like for when I want something more medium coverage and also something a little bit more dewy. This is also great for dry skin. And the uh, Vanish Seamless Stick by Hourglass. This one is a full coverage foundation stick but I love it because it's still creamy and again great for dry skin um, and I like that this has more of a satin finish. So I'm going to pop that in there. And same goes for concealer. I'm going to be taking two concealers and I'm going to be taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer which is this one here and then the new Naked what is it called? Stay Naked by Urban Decay. Now, I actually really like this new Stay Naked concealer, and so I'm bringing this because this has more of a medium coverage, um, and it's a little bit of a darker shade, and then this one is more to brighten, and this is more full coverage. So I like the two together. Now for powder, I cannot go anywhere without my Laura Mercier translucent powder. So I'm going to be putting that in there because I take it literally everywhere with me. And then we're going to move on to bronzer. I'm only taking one bronzer and that is the Hoola bronzer. But this one is actually the light and this is good for fair skin tones. Um, as you can see, I'm pretty fair. So this works better than the original one for me, although I do still like the original. So I'm just going to be taking this because I don't need more than one bronzer. For blush, I like to take two different colored blushes just because I don't know what I will be reaching for that day so i like to take uh, mac peaches which is a more peachier blush obviously something a little bit more pinky and this one is called pink tea i don't think they do that one anymore but i absolutely love it it's just a very neutral pink for highlighter i'm taking the makeup revolution highlighter and this is in raise the bar I think that's pretty much it for the face so I'm going to be moving on to the eyes and for the eyes I'm going to be taking again two palettes so the one I'm going to be taking first is the MAC Artist Library I believe no Art Library and this is in Flame Buoyant and this palette wait till you see it this is like the perfect autumn palette look at that this obviously has a lot of warm tones and browns and deeper shades and this is just perfect for everyday use especially like these colors here and I'm also going to be taking this, which is the KKW Beauty Mrs. West palette. This was limited edition, but it is so beautiful. It is just a neutral classic palette for every day. And keeping with the theme of the eyes, I'm going to be taking my liquid liner. I've been absolutely loving this one lately. This is the NYX Epic uh, Ink Liner. And I'm just going to pop this right here and let's see if it's going to close. Yeah, it does. So that's great. So we'll leave that there. And then for mascara, I'm taking the uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. And pop that right there as well. So these are my nude lipsticks I'm taking. The nude lipstick I'm taking is the MAC uh, Creme de Nude. Absolutely love this lipstick. Beautiful nude shade. So I'm actually going to just put that. You know what? I'll just chuck it in there. And I'm also taking the Sephora Lip Cream. And this one is in 32. And I love these Sephora Lip Creams. So I'm going to put that one there. 
and then also for gloss because I do like to wear uh, lip gloss this is the Bare Minerals lip gloss in groovy and again a beautiful pale nude so that will just go right there for pinks I'm going to be taking these three so for my two lipsticks I'm taking the Kylie Cosmetics lipstick in creme brulee really really pretty nude pink and again I'll just put that right there then we have Max Hue. This one is discontinued, uh, but something similar may be Max Cream Cup. For a pink gloss, I'm taking the Tarte Lip Paint, which is actually a lip gloss. And this one is in Hella, and I'm so upset that they actually changed the shade, I believe. And it was a lot more nudie pink. And um, in person, it's like super pink now. I'll just swatch it on the back of my hand so you guys can see. Like, it was never this dark. I'm going to put that right there, and that will fit nicely. I think this is kind of bulky, so I'm just going to move the gloss along to that side. For setting spray, I'm taking my MAC Minimalize Charged Water. This is similar to Fix Plus. The reason I like this one a lot more is because it's really hydrating. So if you see down here, it says Charged Water Skin Hydrating Mist. Now, this is amazing. Um, if you have dry skin, this is why I absolutely love it because Fix Plus is just a refreshing mist uh, Whereas this one actually gives you hydration into the skin. So that is just going to go right there What I'm going to do is quickly move on to a tiny bit of skincare just so you guys can see what I pack uh, for skincare So for skincare, I'm taking four little bits. Um, I don't like to use too much for skincare I've just always been like that. I'm not a huge skincare junkie. This is my holy grail eye makeup remover. It is just one of the best eye makeup removers um, ever. And because it's Nivea, it means it's affordable. So this is just one of the best products I've ever discovered. So that is going to go right there. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. Absolutely love this stuff for melting away your makeup, really again breaking down your foundation and any little bits of makeup that sometimes is hard to get off with wipes. So I always recommend something like this, even if you have oily skin, it's okay because it's more of a balm, not an oil. Okay, it's getting kind of full now. So next we have my moisturizer and the moisturizer I use is the Origins Free Part Harmony. Now this isn't one that I use every single day, but I do really like it. I actually switch between skincare products often. So uh, this is the one that I'm using at the moment. This is the Free Part Harmony Nourishing Cream for Renewal, Repair and Radiance. So this is what it looks like inside and I absolutely love um, how it smells. It smells like lemons. It just smells really, really fresh. Uh, so I do really like that one as well. Just pop it probably like that. Ooh, we're getting kind of full. And then last but not least, um, this is kind of like an optional step, but I do really love it. It makes your concealer glide on so smoothly. This is the Ole Henriksen um, Banana Bright Eye Cream. I Love Sarai here on YouTube really hooked me onto this. And this is the best eye cream I've ever discovered. I never was an eye cream person, but this literally changed my life, so... Um, I'm going to be throwing that in there just in case. So there we have it. That one is all packed and ready to go in my suitcase. Um, so let's move straight on to the makeup brushes. So for makeup brushes, I'm going to be packing it in this little clear container bag. I know it's quite large um, for makeup brushes, but the only reason I have this is because sometimes my handles are quite big and the uh, bristles are quite big, so I want enough space and length to not ruin my brushes. So let's just dive straight into it really quickly. I'm going to lay my brushes right here and go through them quickly one by one. So for my powder brush, I like to take the Morphe E2. I absolutely love this brush. It's really fluffy and soft and really large, um, so it can set your makeup really quickly. For my foundation brush, you guys already know, the Morphe E7, one of my favourite brushes ever. And this one is great for putting your foundation on. Then for contouring, I have this MAC contour brush. I cannot remember the life of me, and I should because I used to work at MAC. So I think this is the 168. For my highlighting brush, I have the Morphe, what is this, Y13? Little fan highlighting brush. So I'm going to pack that in there as well. And then for blush brush, this one is from Beauty Bay. It's from their own line. 
and this is called the Make Me Blush brush. It's really nice, soft and fluffy. For my eyeshadow brush, I'm taking the Spectrum um, A07 brush from the Mean Girls brush set. And I really like this because it's dense but also fluffy, so you can do a lot with it. Whoops. Next brush is this blending brush right here. Again, Morphe. As you can tell, I really like Morphe's brushes. I'm sure we all do. This is Morphe's M504 blending brush. And then a crease detailer brush. This is again Morphe M506. And I love this one because it's small and you can really do some detailed crease work with it. And then last but not least for brushes, this is the, I have no idea actually what this is, <laughs> but I've had it for so long and it's just a tiny little um, pencil brush almost. And I think it might even be a lip brush, but I like using it for the inner corner. And we just have my Tati Lashes Beauty Blender. It is quite stained at the moment. It does need a good clean. So I'm going to clean this before um, I go. But I absolutely love this as well. So I'm just going to pop that in there. And I only like to take one because there's no need to take more than one sponge. So hope you guys enjoyed this Pack With Me Makeup Edition. And this was really fun to do. Uh, but I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you want to see next from me. Also, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys all in my next video.